Nazir and Shira here at Bear Middle School. We have the after school all stars program. It's a really great program and today they have UFC fighter Jorge Mesvidal is here and he spoke to you all and I'll just open it up first. What was it like having him here talking to you? Definitely, it definitely was an experience. Uh, he gave us a lot of good advice. Uh, it was very nice meeting him. The, uh, the, the stuff he revealed to us was amazing. For me, I mean, my dad and I, we, we love watching like USC fighting, MMA. Uh, we also watch wrestling, which is, of course, staged. But to actually meet someone who does this for a living was amazing. He gave us some really good information that I've heard before, of course, but it's like to hear it from someone who's actually a professional at this job, it's like it's, it's easier to take it in and just soak it and observe it. So. Tell us too about the program. I'll start with you, just at the after school. Also. Yeah. Um, what it is, is there is, it's two hours. It's like after school. And, well, I mean, it is after school. And uh, it's one hour of, uh, like, academic work so we do our homework or we work on projects that we have for other classes we can help teachers who are there and then after that it's an hour of enrichment where we can do craft projects or uh, some of us go outside and we go to the court where we can just have some outdoor time and you know be outside get some fresh air so yeah it's it's a lot of fun <laughs> Nazir, what do you like about the after school program uh, definitely the counselors and how it works. I really love that. And so, and when we go out, and sometimes when we go out to uh, other places, that definitely gets me riled up. Well, I see that the UFC fighter, our UFC fighter, is signing autographs and taking pictures for you. Also, show us what we brought here, which is very cool, and he personalized it as well. Yeah, that, so that's, really that's cool. awesome. <laughs> What do you take from this experience today? Uh, I'll definitely try after school a lot more uh, after I get to high school. I'll definitely try. I'll definitely try encouraging a lot more kids when I get older. What I'll take from this experience is that the advice that he told us. He he told us things that it's it's like if you keep a positive mentality, then your life is going to be so much greater for you. And I will definitely take that to heart and carry that with me throughout my life. You think someday you might want to try to get in the octagon and give it a try? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know, it does seem, it does seem uh, kind of scary. Yeah, because they actually showed one of his fights beforehand, which is really yeah, neat that they put that, that up was... on the screen and all. So it gave you an idea of what he does. You know. How about for you? For me, uh, my living room is my octagon. My dad and I love to beat each other up. It's, it's a lot of fun. So, yeah. But not too physical, right? No, we don't want no, anyone not. To... Uh, we're not. We don't want anything happening happen each other, yeah, exactly, exactly. but it's, we definitely have that kind of bond where it's 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 a play fight and antagonizing and teasing and everything. So yeah, that's that's just how it is. Well, I want to thank you both, but when you said something, and I'm gonna say, oh my gosh. Okay, so John Cena, good, bad, or indifferent? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> do you watch WWE? I do. Um, do you have a favorite wrestler? Do I have a favorite wrestler? <laughs> I mean, there are some of them that I that I love and others who I despise. I think if I had to choose a favorite uh, personality, it would definitely be somebody who has a character like like the body paint, like Finn Balor's The Demon. I just I love it so much. <laughs> Yes, shout out for Finn, because he doesn't always wear the paint. Every once in a while he'll put the paint on and all. Yeah, cool. I got to witness that on TV and I was I was so happy. <laughs> Did you guys, either one of you, have ever gone to a UFC event? Have you ever gone to a, a WWE event or anything like that? I've gone to local wrestling matches before, um, and of course that stage, but I'm trying to get my dad to take me to a UFC event because I really want to go. <laughs> I went to a WWE event with my dad during the summer, and it was beautiful. There were there was fireworks, and that kind of scared me. It kind of got me 
<laughs> yes, <Cairo. listen. laughs> when they start off, those things are loud, man. Those are super loud. <laughs> Did you remember any of the wrestlers? Did you have a favorite? I should say superstar. WWE uses the word superstar. Uh, I do have a favorite. I don't really remember the match. I remember that. It's very awkward just sitting there without the announcers, like on TV. <laughs> yes, it is, because you don't, you don't, when you hear the announcers, they're telling you exactly what's happening, what everyone's doing, and that's you, all you're hearing is them hitting the mat, the slams on the mat, so it's a lot different seeing it live like that than when it's on TV and all. So, what well, would either one of you think about becoming a WWE superstar? Yes. <laughs> Yes, my dad always compares me to the uh, the female wrestlers, and he says that I could totally be a, another Sasha Banks or Charlotte Flair. So, <laughs> yay! Yeah, it's the two of the top ones too, and it's funny because Ronda Rousey yeah. was the UFC champion, and now she went to WWE, and she well, she yeah. was not anymore, but she was the, yeah. the uh, WWE Raw champion. So listen. Great talking to both of you and all. Thank you so much for the time. Thank you.